17,168%. That's the amount of profit that my chat GPT bot was able to make in about 1,400 trades. I'm going to share all of this information with you guys for free. I'm not gatekeeping this information. I'm going to do a complete walkthrough on how to create a bot that is effective and has some really good results just like this strategy here. So if you appreciate that sentiment, be sure to tap that subscribe button and hit the like button to help boost this video in the algorithm. The platform I'm on is TradingView. If you want to sign up, the link is down in the description. You can register using a free account. Everything I'm going to show you in this video is going to be absolutely free. So to quickly explain the numbers and statistics on your screen of how this bot is performing, and I'm going to show you on the chart how it performs, what kinds of trades it takes. The net profit is the most important number. And if you log on to your own trading view and pull up the performance summary, you can click these question marks and it shows a brief description of what all these numbers mean. This is going to be really important. So the net profit is the gross profit minus the gross loss. So we take this number and subtract the loss from it and we end up with our gross profit. That's pretty straightforward. Run-up is the theoretical maximum gain that you could make on a trade. So if you entered at the exact bottom and exited at the exact top, you would have ideal run-up. Now, drawdown is very similar to the reverse of that. If you enter a trade and the price drops about 1% and then increases 2%, your drawdown would be 1% on that trade, and you would still profit on that trade assuming your stop loss didn't get hit. The buy and hold return is the amount of money you would have made if you invested in the stock run the Bitcoin chart. If we bought Bitcoin and held it in our wallet, it, we would have profited 143% during the time frame that this strategy was operating. That's gonna be our benchmark, and since we're above it, we got a green check mark. The next two ratios, the Sortino and the Sharp ratio, are very key to look at. The way that Sharp works is the reward to variability ratio. It's very, very common to be used, and the difference between the Sharp ratio and the Sortino ratio is that the Sortino ratio only looks at the negative downside whereas the sharp ratio looks up at the upside plus the downside. And you can see the formula here. It's calculating it automatically for us on our chart so we can constantly look at these and improve them as needed. The profit factor is pretty straightforward. It's the amount of money that your trading strategy made for every unit of money lost. So we're at 1.9, that's a pretty good value for profit factor. The commission base is also very important as it affects the total profit that you would have. My profit would be far higher if I didn't account in commission. Total close trades is very important. You want to have a fairly large sample size. I would say anything above three, four, five hundred is going to be a fairly substantial sample size when you're building a strategy. One of the weaknesses I commonly see is people have a strategy and it only made 12 trades. It's not a large enough sample size to actually know if that strategy works in real time going forward. Since we're back testing, there's going to be weaknesses with all of this, but we try to build those out and iron it out using robustness training techniques. So as you can see in this strategy, the number of winning trades is actually lower than the number of losing trades. So the risk management is essential for getting out of losing trades. Every time there's a breakout, take a shot at it. And if you keep doing that with proper risk management techniques, you can increase your net profit. So you don't have to win every trade. It doesn't have to be perfect. No strategy is going to be absolutely perfect. You just want to tip the odds in your favor and not get completely greedy. The next thing that's really key is average winning trade versus average losing trade. You want to be able to minimize the average losing trade and you want your average winning trade, of course, to be bigger than your average losing trade. That's going to give you your risk margins. And you also want to see your average bars and trades because if your strategy is trading too much, you're going to wipe out your accounts as well. So you want your strategy to hold for a reasonable amount of time and you want real logic built into your strategy in order for it to make sense why it's making profit. The entries should be clear, the exits should be clear, and that should be giving you a full rule set for when the strategy is gonna enter or exit your trades, just as if you were trading in real time, except it's not you. You're gonna hook this up to a trading bot and it's gonna operate for you 24 seven while you're sleeping. So let's look at some of the trades on the chart. This is a great long entry. It entered at the start of this candle and it held all the way up and then it closed and it reversed back into a short at this point here. So this is a 7.6% trade. That's very good. And then a short coming in th this direction, it closed the short here, did not enter along. And then it opened another short here and held all the way down to the very bottom and closed the short here, flip back to long. That's exactly what I like to see. That was a 7.8% short. This is a great long we caught here. It caught this long up right after this dip, that's very good. So I'm sure you're wondering, that's great and all, but how are you gonna show me how to do this for myself? And if I can't do this for myself, can you help me? And 
yes to both of those questions. The link to my Discord is in my profile banner. Click onto my page, check my links. So I'm going to be sharing the strategy I build right now in front of you in my trading Discord. Just subscribe to my page, head over and click my profile banner. And then you'll see that I have a Discord linked in my link tree. Head over there and I'm going to share all the code there. And it's also becoming a great community to hang out in. Come share your strategies and build with a community. We're all working together to build strategies. So step one in all this is registering a free open AI account. That's going to get you access to ChatGPT and it's going to be doing the coding for you. Once you do that, the page should look like this. It's ChatGPT and you can enter prompts here and ChatGPT can take natural language and build code for you. Now, ChatGPT is prone to a couple errors in coding. It's not perfect yet, but the language models that are coming out, this is ChatGPT 3. There's going to be ChatGPT 4, 5, 6, 7. Google, Microsoft, Facebook, everyone's working on their language models. And so this is a perfect time to get involved with learning how all of these models work and using them to your advantage. So the things that ChatGPT can't do very well yet are build an entire trading strategy from scratch. It can give you very good generic advice, but what it does do is it builds off templates very well. So what we're gonna do is a creative approach that I came up with. We're gonna use the public database of TradingView indicators, and we're gonna ask ChatGPT to improve on them and convert them into a strategy for us and build rule sets for us. You don't even need to know how to code to do that. So register for TradingView. There's a link down in the description for a free account. There's no strings attached to do that. And so to start this process off, I'm gonna click on the indicators tab right here and I'm gonna search the public database of community scripts. We're gonna be doing a simple strategy here. So I'm gonna select the Bollinger Bands and there they are. And as you can see, there's no long or short entries on this script. This is just an indicator. It's telling us visually when the price is breaking up. So the next step is to open up the source code and to do that in the top left, the indicator is MBB here. If I hold my mouse over it and I select these two brackets here, I can actually open up the source code. So I'm gonna do that. And here's the source code. There's a little lock. We can unlock it by clicking these three dots here on the top right, make a script copy, and you can name it anything that you want. So the next thing that's important, we've got to check the version of what this code is in. This says version three. The newest version of PineScript is version five. So it's really simple to update that. We go to the right hand corner again. There's these three dots convert to V4 and you're gonna see an update, there it is. And we can click it again and we could go back to V3 or convert to V5. So I'm gonna click convert to V5 and there's another update. You can see it says version five at the very top of our script there. So I'm gonna copy all that. I'm gonna head back to ChatGPT and I'm gonna paste it in. Now I've got version five. I can see that this is an indicator. It's not a strategy. So I'm gonna manually change this here to save ChatGPT the time. So I changed that from indicator to strategy, and now this should work fairly well. Now all I have to do is tell ChatGPT what I want it to do with this strategy that it's building. So I want it to build rules for long and short entries. So here's a simple prompt to tell ChatGPT exactly what you need ChatGPT to do for you. So it says code a strategy in PineScript, enter a long when price closes above the upper Bollinger Band and short when price closes below the lower Bollinger Band. That's going to catch breakouts. So if the Bollinger Bands are expanding, that means that we're the price is breaking out. Sometimes there's gonna be fake outs and it's not gonna be trading in that middle zone when price action is kind of consolidating and not really doing much. So let's hit enter and see what happens. So we've got some code action happening and I'm gonna check exactly what is adding to this original strategy. It's building off this as a template. This is acting as the structure for training ChatGPT to build off ideas that we already like or what we already want. So in natural language, I've coded some simple ideas. The logic is fairly straightforward, fairly clear. And now the exciting part is to see what it does with this in code. So now I see long entry is a condition when we cross over the upper Bollinger Band. And likewise, the short entry is when we cross under the lower Bollinger Band. Perfect. So let's copy this and head back to TradingView. Now I'm going to paste this on top of the other code. So I've overridden it. And now we have the strategy entry conditions. So I can already see we might have some issues. If I click save, there might be an error. We're going to fix it really quick. To cross over and cross under are actually functions from the old version of PineScript. To update it, all we have to do is type TA 
dot and it should highlight in blue if we did it correctly. So we're going to do it with the cross under as well. TA at the very beginning dot and if it highlighted, that's correct. So if we hit save again, we should see if we get any more errors and we'll resolve those as they come. And that's giving us this error in the strategy exit. This is really simple to fix. I'm going to do it really quickly using an if condition. So if we have a short entry, it's going to close the long and I'm going to delete that extra code because we don't need it now. And let's check this logic. So if we have a short entry, we exit the long. If we have a long entry, we exit the short. Perfect. Now let's hit save and see if that saves. So these orange alerts are nothing to worry about. We can just ignore them. And we can add this to our charts to see how it performs. And it's not performing bad. We're not at a ridiculously high percentile yet. Again, this is the very first prototype, but it's catching some of these breakouts. There's a long right here. We went for the long and we flipped a short here. And it caught this huge dump right here. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have something to work with here. So I'm going to go back to the pine editor. And the next thing I want to add is compounding interest. That's going to mean that our strategy is going to invest any money it makes back into the strategy. And over time, that should compound. So I, I did that here. I added 1,000 as the initial capital. That doesn't matter. You could change that to any number you want. And the results, the percents, is going to be the exact same. The quantity type is going to be percent of equity and the default quantity value for each trade. We're going to invest 100% of our strategy every single time, turn it over into the bot again and again to compound. Now let's hit save and see if there's any errors on that. There's no errors on that. So let's head back to the strategy tester and we've got some profit. 625% on the three hour, the four hours looking good. It's profitable across multiple time frames. It doesn't look like the shorts working out so well. So we might have to adjust some of our exits. The longs are performing really well though. So the next step that we have to do is fine tune our strategy. So there's a rule building. We're gonna have to add some different exit conditions to our strategy. Maybe, maybe if the price crosses above this middle line, it'll exit a short or a long depending on the direction. Or maybe we wanna add an RSI and if the price is oversold, if the RSI is oversold and it crosses back up, you might wanna add that as one of your conditions as well. So by stacking these for confluence, we can get even better results than we already have. And the next thing that we can do is open the settings here and fine tune it using our settings here. So the Bollinger Band length is taking in the last 34 bars. And if we up that, maybe we can smooth it out. And you'll see if I change this value to say 40, for example, this number is going to change and it went up. So we can keep adjusting this to fine tune the exact measurement that we want. You can click up and up and up. And you can see that these numbers keep changing. And now the shorts are actually profitable as well. So you can keep playing with this. You can also change the malt. And we've got to check it across different time frames to see if it's performing on different time frames as well as different equities. So we can head over to the Ethereum chart just as a test. And it's performing on the 12 hour chart fairly well already. On the eight hour chart is actually above 7,000% already. This is really, really, really interesting. So these long entries and short entries as well as the exit conditions could be changed. I'm gonna give you a quick example of how to do that. So if we wanna add more exit conditions for our strategy, I can make a simple example here. You can see if we have a short entry, it's gonna close our long. That makes sense, that's very logical. And if we wanna add an or condition there, if the close is below the middle line and that in our code is the orange line, that's gonna be the basis. So I can take the basis line and if the, if the close is below the basis line, we wanna get out of our long position. And likewise, the short exit condition is our long entry or if the close is above above that basis line. And that is just this middle line here in our strategy, typically fairly good at finding reversals. So if I hit save, let's see how that adjusts our profit, 43,000%. Now, if we add commission, we can get these numbers to be a little bit more realistic. So commission value is gonna be 0 0.05. And if I hit save, let's see what these numbers change to. And it came down to 23,000%. So we could head over to the list of trades. And this is the overview of what the bot is doing. There's a total of 626 closed trades. The average bars in trade is 30. That's fairly good. It's holding its position once it enters. And this is actually pretty amazing, including commission as well. So we're gonna head over to the list of trades and this is telling us exactly what the bot did. It tells us the exact time it entered each trade. It tells us the cumulative profit. If you enter a trade and the price drops and you're in the negative, but then reverses and then you end up closing in profit. Like for example, this trade, this was a 6% profit. 
But when it entered, it actually took a 1.29% loss before the price reversed. That's going to be your drawdown. So you want to optimize those numbers as well. And you can go through and meticulously review every single one of these and fine tune your bot. Now, this is going to be a craft. This is going to be something that you forward test, you paper trade, you don't use real money yet. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to share this exact code in my Discord channel. So I've pasted it right here. I'm going to pin this message so that anyone coming in can come and find it. And if you want to find it, just hit this top right pinned messages and you'll see it right here. I'm in the chat GPT bots channel. So you can find it in that channel. And while I'm here, I also wanted to show up the free signals that this server offers. You can get alerts for this just by clicking either of these two buttons here. You can subscribe to either of these or both. And these signals are powered by my own personal trading view subscription. If you're not subscribed to this channel, you definitely should be now. So hit like, subscribe, and the bell notification icon so that you get notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. See ya.